In this video, we show you how to configure the Community Edition Development Environment. First, we download the .ova file that is an image of the virtual machine. Once it is downloaded, we import the virtual machine. In this case, we import it with the virtual box but we could do it with other providers, as Binware, Iperv, or Oda. We restart the MAC address of the network card of the virtual machine, and we begin to import it. This is a recommendation. Once we have it imported, we execute it, and here we can see the development environment with OpenKM preconfigured. We advise two cores and four gigabytes of RAM for the hardware of the virtual machine. The first thing that we do is opening the README document that contains some data, among them the login and password. Next, we open the Eclipse. From here, we download the last version of the source code. We have here already the repository of the Community Edition preconfigured, and then we start to download the last version. Once it is downloaded, we will compile the app. To do so, we have configured two runtimes yet. And now that the app has been compiled in development, Work at Space, OpenGM, Target, we will see the file OpenGM.org. In the path OpenGM Development, Tomcat, Web Apps, we have an alias, a link to the OpenGM folder placed in the Target folder. This is the configuration that from OpenKM we advise to development projects. As we can see, the application is completely compiled. Now, from Eclipse, we will launch the application. We will start the software, and once it is started, we can open the browser and access it. We insert the path and the login and password that we have on the README file that we have seen at the beginning of the video. From the community installation, we can access to the administration panel, see the users created by default, where we can manage the metadata, creating new ones. Here we can see a definition that we can save if we want it. As example, we create a folder. and we add a document. As we can check, the software is completely operative. In the Properties panel, we can surf over the different tabs Security, Notes, Properties, History to access to the versions, Preview to see the content of the file, 
One of the advantages of the development environment is that it is 100% configured so you can enjoy all the features of the software. Here we have the client of the database. We can open the database and we can make requests. We can see that the database is called OKMDV. We can see the tables and we can look for the documents. In this case, we have only one. In the OKM node document table, we access to the documents. It will give us an error message because we have not selected the database by default. If we solve the issue and we test again, this time we can search and obtain the result. As we can check, we access to the data, the columns of the table of the database. We close the application from Eclipse. Then we see how we can launch the application from the operating system because the service has been configured to at this level. The service is not configured by default to start, but it can be done easily. Now we start the service, service Tomcat Start. And if we insert the URL in the browser, The service will start and we will access again to the application in operating mode. 